Okay, in this video I just want to finish up the amino acid structures with part two. I'll be covering the um, acidic amino acids and basic amino acids. So let's go right into it. So here I have the acidic amino acids. They're glutamic acid and aspartic acid and I didn't draw them out so what I'm actually going to do is just draw them real quick for you guys. So again we start out with our backbone and if we're looking to do glutamic acid here the side chain is CH2 CH2 C double bond O OH and GLU and E are the abbreviations, the one letter and the two, three letter and one letter abbreviations. So I'm also going to draw out aspartic acid here, which is the other acidic amino acid. And that has the same backbone, obviously, because, like I've been saying, this is the same in all of them. The only difference is the side chain has a CH2, C double bond O, OH. So it only has one CH2. It's the only difference. You'll notice that for both glutamic acid and aspartic acid and glutamine and aspartine. So those are the structures. Uh, notice that this is an acidic group and it can lose a proton. So that will become important later. Now I'll move on to the three basic amino acids that are left. And I'll start with histidine, which is like a really interesting case actually and kind of a really important amino acid that you're going to see a lot because it can actually lose a proton around physiological pH which is extremely important. So C, C double bond, it looks like I'm going to run out of room here. I'm going to try and do as best I can to uh, get this here. So CH over here is an N up here was another N, a C, and that forms a ring like that. This has another hydrogen here, positive charge, and there's another hydrogen on this N over here, and there's a double bond right there. So I know it's a bit messy, but that's histidine, and the abbreviations are HIS and H. So I'll do lysine now, and I'll make sure to leave more room this time. Come on, give me some light here. So lysine actually has a CH2 group, but it actually has four of them. So what I'm going to do to just cut down on space is I'm just going to put a four here. So for four CH2 groups, and at the top it has an NH3 with a positive charge. So that is lysine, the abbreviations are LYS and K. And the last one here is arginine. So again the same backbone here nothing's changed there and this one I'll draw it out this time as CH2 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 NH and this has a C double bond NH2 with a positive charge and another NH2 on the end so I don't know how clear that is but this is NH2 C double bond NH2 with a positive charge, NH, CH2, CH2, CH2. And those are the basic amino acids. Again, they all have the ability to lose a proton as well at different pHs. And we'll see that and do some problems with those uh, when we start drawing peptides at certain pHs or draw draw a tripeptide at physiological pH is like a common question that you might see you know where they're gonna ask you to demonstrate not only your ability to draw the amino acids but to understand you know what what has a proton what loses a proton and what pH does 
the, do these things occur. So the basic amino acids, and one more time, the acidic amino acids, glutamic acid and aspartic acid. Um, you know, again, my, my tips, the way I taught myself to memorize these for the exams was I just sat down and I kept drawing them <laughs> over and over again. I, I, for me, five, five times, each one five times, it really sort of puts it in your head what's going on and, and gives you a good idea of um, what to do. Um, another tip that I have is that you can, if you have a whiteboard, one of those dry erase boards, that's a good way you can actually draw the chain, you can draw the um, backbone out here and just leave that in place and just keep erasing the side chains as you, as you go through and as you practice. So that's one way to save time. Um, you, you, you know, there, there are some other d devices out there, some memorization techniques that you can look into if you want. Um, again, for me, it worked best just to sit down and draw them out about five times. Uh, but the dry erase board could be beneficial, <laughs> save you a little bit of paper and um, save you some time. So that's pretty much all I want to say about the amino acid structures. I think I covered all 20 of them over the two videos. So. Good luck out there.